today let's take up the treatment of accumulated profits and reserves um, first of all let's see the treatment of reserves and accumulated profits so here I'll write treatment of reserves now if in the balance sheet the item general reserve or any other kind of reserve it appears right now that reserve is to be distributed among the partners in their old profit sharing ratio right so here the journal entry will be like this reserves it it may be your general reserve or your profit and loss account right so if there is a profit in that case it will be debited and uh, if there is a workman compensation fund that is also to be distributed in the same way workman's compensation fund or we call it as workman's compensation reserve account debit right and the other one which is to be distributed is the investment fluctuation reserve right these are the three types of reserves which if appears in the balance sheet it should be distributed among the partners in their old profit sharing ratio right partners capital or current accounts right so here this is the journal entry for the treatment of reserves and accumulated profits supposing there is an accumulated loss right instead of profit it is a loss in that case uh, the journal entry will just be the reverse it will be all partners capital or current account debit to profit and loss account so this is a loss right uh, so supposing if you have uh, if the question says that you have um, three partners suppose I say A, B and C right and they are sharing profits and losses in the ratio of uh, let's say 5 is to 3 is to 2 right and um, supposing we say there was a credit balance there was a credit balance of rupees 1,50,000 in their profit and loss account right and the reserves showed a balance of let's say 80,000 rupees right now we have to pass the journal entry in order to adjust this reserves and accumulated profits right so basically this is also when the partners decide to change their profit sharing ratio then only this thing will be done right okay so as we did in goodwill when there is a change in the profit sharing ratio these things have to be adjusted right so in this case a b and c the five five is to three is to two which i have written here this is the old ratio and they will be deciding to change their profit sharing ratio it can be anything right ok supposing they want it to be something like this 3 is to 2 is to 1 so before coming to this particular ratio the new ratio this profit and loss account credit balance and this uh, reserves uh, balance this has to be distributed right now uh, 
let me put down the journal entry for this now profit and loss account it will be debited now the amount is 1 lakh 50 thousand if there is a credit balance it means it is a profit and if they say if the profit and loss account has a debit balance it is a loss right okay now if i want i can make separate entries for this profit and loss account debit to a's capital account to b's capital account and to c's capital account right so this 1 lakh 50 thousand will be divided in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 which is a will be getting 5 upon 10 b will be getting 3 upon 10 and c will be getting 2 upon 10 right so if we do this 1 lakh 50 thousand into 5 divided by 10 it comes to 75,000 right so here for A it will be 75,000 and if you do 1,50,000 into 3 divided by 10 that comes to 45,000 for B and 1 lakh 50,000 into 2 divided by 10 it comes to 30,000 right so this is the ratio in which this profit and loss will be distributed among the partners right same way you will be doing for general reserve general reserve the amount is given as 60,000 right so here we will write general reserve account debit to A's capital account to B's capital account to C's capital account right so this 60,000 again this will be divided uh, sorry 80,000 was the amount yes the amount is 80,000 so 80,000 will be divided in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 so 80,000 into 5 upon 10 so that comes to 40,000 right same way 80,000 into 3 divided by 10 that comes to 24,000 and 80,000 into 2 divided by 10 that comes to 16,000 right so this way it will be distributed okay now in some of the cases the uh, partners They will decide uh, to show the um, profit and loss account or the reserves in the same manner in the balance sheet as it was before, right? So even after a change in the profit sharing ratio, they want the uh, profit and loss account and reserves to appear as they were appearing before, right? So in that case. Uh, what we have to do is we have to pass a journal entry now this is a case where um, the profit and loss account and the reserve should continue to appear in the books of the reconstituted firm when I say reconstituted firm it is the firm with the same partners but new profit sharing ratio right okay okay now in this case it will be the gaining partners capital account debit to the sacrificing partners capital account 
right and this will be done in their sacrificing ratio okay so this is how we will do it if they want the profit and loss account or the reserves to appear in the books of the firm right okay so this here you will have to apply the sacrificing ratio and not the old ratio okay right now let's look at uh, one more thing which is the workmen's compensation fund now workmen's compensation fund um if supposing i say that the workmen's compensation fund is um let's say here the workmen's compensation fund is 1 lakh right and again a is to b is to c now they are sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 now if no other information is given then this workmen's compensation fund will be transferred uh, between the partners to the partners in their old profit sharing ratio so workmen's compensation fund account debit the same way you did for um, profit and loss in general reserve right to a's capital account to b's capital account to c's capital account like this so this 1 lakh will be divided in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 right 1 lakh divided in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 now supposing uh one extra information is given that uh there is a claim right there is a claim on account of workmen's compensation fund and it is rupees 50000 suppose or let me let us put it as 40000 right okay okay now in this case a claim has to be given to the worker that is uh, due to some contingency you will have to uh keep this as separate right okay so in this case what we will do is we will take out this 40000 and the remaining 60000 will be distributed among the partners so here it will be workmen's compensation fund or reserve whatever it is account debit here the whole amount of 1 lakh will come now here i'll write two provision for workmen's compensation claim account and here we will put this 40000 so 40000 is taken out from this 1 lakh so 60000 remains so this 60000 is divided among the partners to a's capital account to b's capital account to c's capital account like this right so 60000 here the 60000 will be distributed in the ratio of um 5 is to 3 is to 2 right so if i say this uh 60000 into 5 divided by 10 that comes to 30000 for a right 30000 for a and it will be 60000 into 3 divided by 10 that will be 18000 for b and 60000 into 2 divided by 10 that will be equal to 12000 for c so if you add up all this it will come to 1 lakh right okay so this is how you have to do when there is a provision on the workmen's compensation fund right so with that i would like to close uh, today's session on this uh, treatment of accumulated 
profits and preserve right so here i have put the journal entries and this is uh, the first case the second case was here this one where the profit and loss account and the reserve should continue to appear in the books now in this case it is not the old ratio it is the sacrificing ratio so in such case we will have to find out the sacrificing ratio and then find out which partner is sacrificing and which partner is gaining right okay okay so workman's compensation fund we have taken up two cases in this the first one where no information is given and the second one when there is a claim so there you have to set aside that claim so that's it for today bye